day by day, is the shizzle. What it do, what it is, everybody. And thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I'm your host, Dede, and today we are joined by a battle rap legend by way of Landover, Maryland, the one and only Swervo. What it do, bro? Man, what it do, man? I ain't a legend yet. That's it. You, That's yeah, it. But, but you on the way. Even, yeah, I'm even, on the way. I'm on the way, man. A wise man can tell if a peasant got a king in him. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's there. <laughs> So let's start from the ground up, man. I mean, like, how do we get here? Last time, me and you chopped it up in person and whatnot. We was we was on the football field together. You know yeah, what I mean? That's crazy. Hey, and yeah. this is this the thing, though, man. Like a lot of people ain't know. Uh, except for probably like probably like Casey. Shout out to him. But a lot of people, bro. We used to be on the bus going mm. to games. I used to be watching Smack. I swear to God, mm. I used to be watching Smack. I used to watch that shit twenty four seven. I used to watch that shit in class, bro. Oh, all right. So it was, it was, to be that, that shit, this should have been like, I've been watching this since I was probably like 13. Okay. So it was slowly being embedded in you even back then. Yeah. That's what's up. All right. So, yeah. Um, so like I said, so that's what, that's what initially caught the attention for you. So when did you take that step into actually getting involved and jumping in the water? The, the, the motherfucking, the, the story actually crazy, bro. It wasn't even no, cause I, I didn't know I could go this far. It was real off some, my little brother, he like, I bet you won't do this shit. I'm mm. like, all right. I found out it was a league in Maryland. So I'm like, shit. I'm like, I'm going to see what I do. The first time my manager now, she see me. Mm-hmm. So she's like, right now, a lot of people don't know. Let me break it down. A lot of people don't know the battle rap industry is a whole different, like, you feel me? It's a whole, it's a big industry, though. But a lot of people don't know that, though. Yeah. A lot of people don't, they don't know. It's a big industry, though. It's a bigger, like the, the uh, app I'm on right now, Caffeine, that's Drake app. Mm. Yeah, that's Drake app. Like he, so basically he paying for the app and they paying me. So no actuality, I'm getting paid by Drake. Niggas don't know how much he love battle rap type shit. But yeah, basically I, I um, she saying she said she saying something like she saying something to me. I guess I was playing around though, not even playing around. I just wanted to see if I could do this shit, bro. Right, right. And so after the first jump, inside is it's like I was I was slow walking it. When I knew I was, I was kind of like, damn, I might, I, I could do this shit. When I, when I knew I could do this shit on the highest level, this is probably like my seventh battle. This is my first year into it. I battled somebody named King Esco. I surprised myself, son. And that's when I knew I could do this shit on the highest level. And I've been taking it serious since then, like super serious. That's what's up. So that's kind of like how comedians be like when they, people always telling them they funny. It be amateur night at a at a you know a stand up show or whatever, and they try it, and then people in the audience be like, "Damn, you actually good!" And then someone spot them in the audience and be like, "It's time to take it serious." And yeah. in a sense, that's exactly what happened to you with your manager seeing. Yeah, you that's at. yeah, that's that's literally that's that's literally what happened. Though. That's literally what happened. So the first battle, about how many people were in the audience? It's crazy. The first battle I was on was a, a anticipated event, though. So it was a okay. lot of people. It was when I battled, I was I was the second battle. So it was probably I like 30 people in there. All right. I mean, shit, that's that's decent. Yeah, that, that, that's cool. That's it's, it's, it's all right. Yeah, it was like 30. Not bad. All right. So, like I said before, from Landover, Maryland, uh, for those who don't know, that's PG County, Maryland, which is usually known for breathing some of the best athletes in the nation, right? Now, I want to ask you, because I'm kind of naive. This is a serious question. What about battle rappers? Like, what's the reputation as far as battle rappers coming out of PG County? And regardless of how it is, would you consider yourself, you know, you said you ain't a legend yet, but I see it. Would you consider yourself like the golden child of, you know, um, the higher level of battle rappers coming out of PG? I, I got, Not the golden child. I'm in the, the golden era, though, for Maryland, as far mm. as Because it's like, it's... I mean, Maryland, PG County alone is not a lot. You got, God damn. As far as PG County, nah, I mean, I'd be so pissed if I'm missing some mine. Maryland, I can name a lot of Maryland, but you got Charles County. You got niggas from Baltimore, shit like that. You know, Tay Rocky from Baltimore, mm-hmm. from Baltimore, them niggas like that. Them niggas that made it to the next, the uh, highest level, but 
Nah, as far as PG County, I'm in the go. I'm in the go there for PG County as far as battle rap. That's what's up. So PG County. PG County, Maryland, East Coast. July 24th, you were in a battle that was on URL TV live that was yeah. live and direct from LA. So you being a battle rapper that's kind of new to the scene and away from PG County, what was that whole experience like as far as, you know, just the environment of being in Cali, the rappers that were from all over, not from just Cali or just from Maryland, all over. And then the battle being shot live, you know, on or URL TV live. What was that whole experience like? That shit was fun, bro. Mm. That's when you know, once you get the caffeine, it's like, that's when you know you there. That's when you know they care about you. That's when you know you appreciate it and like, like they want you there for real once you get the caffeine. The overall being around battlers, like I mean, since I've been in the game, I've been to events, I've been around battlers and shit like that. So it ain't because I uh the reason why I said the golden era, because it's been people before me, like well, not even before me, just like probably a year before me, but we started rapping at the same time. If you uh know a dude named Ace I mean, he from PG County or Maryland too. So with me being just going to events with him and shit, him rapping, I've been around. So that's not the only difference was when the lights cut on. That shit was mm. that shit was different. That shit was different <laughs> when the lights actually cut on. I had to start rapping. That shit was different. Yeah, that shit was different. That's what's up. All right. So listen, the lights the lights came on, but I mean, you was live and direct too, because I want to play a clip from your battle right quick. And I just you know want to want other people out there to take it in, and then I want you to kind of you know give us a play by play for it. This shit was, really happened, bro. You said what? Listen, listen this is what happened, son. And now that I'm a, I'm because a, a lot of people don't understand it on the outside looking in. Mm -hmm. I was in LA mm -hmm. battling a nigga from LA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody that you seen damn near on camera um in the building, everybody that you seen, they was with there with him. I went out there with me and my manager type shit. Mm. Battle rap is a thing called home field advantage, right? So the reason why I like I basically had to fight for reaction. Niggas told after the battle, niggas talking about hey, that Jamarcus bot that Jamarcus Russell bot was crazy. Get the fuck out of my face. You gonna tell mm, me after the battle? After you try to keep a stone face going mm. and then tell a nigga that after the battle. So it was a and that shit really happened. So he we had an interview right when the names got flipped. I don't know if you remember that. We had a they, they we was on live on caffeine, it was like June 26th, when mm -hmm. we picked who we was battling type shit. So when the names got flipped and shit, we did an interview. He on the interview like, man, I ain't never seen this nigga battle. I don't really care. He's doing the shit for the camera. Mm -hmm. Off the interview, we get around people. He's like, man, yeah, I, I watched this battle. I, I couldn't even sit through that shit type shit. So the mm -hmm. shit really happened, bro. Mm -hmm. That shit is, that bar is really a haymaker, but. It's, it's, it's crazy that you said. You know, it was home field advantage, so they had to keep a stone face afterwards. They was like, it was hard. I thought it was kind of a subtle reaction because it went over it, it went over most people's heads. They knew what the fuck that was, bro. They do mm. everything I said about first round, bro. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's people that's listening to the podcast or viewing it that it like they probably it's probably still people that still don't get it. I mean, <laughs> it took me it took me about 10 seconds, but when I got it, those are those are like casual battle rap fans, though. The niggas that was in that building, no, uh -huh. you are not a casual battle rap fan. You are a battle rap fan. You yeah. got exactly what the fuck I was saying. You're used, you're used to the smoke that's in the air. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't watch a lot of battle rap. I've watched some. And yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't gas things that, you know what I'm saying, have no type of ignition to it. That was one of the hardest battle rap bars I've ever heard. Because it was a it was a it was it was a double haymaker. Cause you said. Not just because you didn't live up to the first, the first round, round hype, you but you lied, lied about, about tapes. Niggas don't know how stupid Jamarcus Russell was, man. I guess niggas don't remember that. All right, so I'll break it down for those who don't know. Jamarcus Russell uh, was a number one. Uh, he was a probably the greatest bust of all time. He was drafted number one overall by the Raiders. He was a quarterback. So he was so lazy and whatnot and didn't have no type of work ethic that coaches would give him tapes of film to take home and watch, but they were blank tapes. They were blank CDs. They were testing them. And the next day, they would be like, Jamarcus, did you watch them tapes? And he'd be like, yeah, coach, yeah. I'm good to go. But it was nothing <laughs> on it. Nothing on it. That's crazy, bro. That was one of the hardest balls. So let me ask you, let me ask you this, right? Because, like, I think, like, me, I'm not a comedian at all. But when I tell a joke, I try you to tell. You're a funny nigga, though. Yeah, but see, and, and but when I, <laughs> when I tell a joke, I, I always tell myself it's made for only 10% to understand. Like, if I'm telling a great joke, it's yeah. not made for everyone to get, right? So... <laughs> Going into, you know what I'm saying, what's when you when you going into a battle rap, what's more important? 
having a good rhyme scheme, having those punchlines or bars that will the haymakers like that Jamarcus Russell one, having a, a greater insult or maybe tying the two together or having a greater flow. Like what's what do you when you go into a battle rap, what type of ammunition are you really trying to focus on? Um, I me personally, I, I mean, a lot of people do different shit. Like a lot of people's styles different. A lot of niggas don't, um, I mean, the disrespect shit don't only get you so far, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like somebody, it's somebody who already do that, nigga Austin, he do the disrespect shit, but it only gets you but so far. It look kind of crazy when other people do it. It's like, come on, like, you, mm-hmm. you been, like, what are you being too tough for? Like, yeah. But it depends the disrespect. A lot of disrespect is like, is like frowned upon, but um, me personally, I go, I go and try to do what I do best and try to diffuse what he does best. Okay. So real name Brandon punches light as hell. Bro, this nigga said, I brought my own smoke like BYOB. I don't even fucking make sense, bro. They went crazy for that. Oh, they went crazy for that, but, but not Jamarcus Russell? Come on, man. Come, on man. Come on, man. That shit was sad, bro. Yeah. So I, and so with him, him punching light, that's why I went in there with all bombs, son. I had all bombs. I had a lot of bombs, bro. Even in yeah. my second round, his second round was crazy, but even in my second round, everything going done went left with swerve like NASCAR drivers. Now the only exit is through the window, bro. That is amazing. They can only get out the car through the window. Right. Right. <laughs> it's amazing, bro. My man really dissecting them shits right here. That's what's up. Uh, I, um, so I, I saw a lot. I probably saw like four or five clips. I didn't see the whole joint. I uh, logged on live a little bit too late. But yeah, just from what uh, I seen. On the URL TV app. Everybody watch this, man. Go get that app. It's only $6 a month. Mm-hmm. It's on the app now, though. The full joint on there, right? And just from what I seen, and then they had the, uh, what was his name? Brandon, dude. They had his clips on there, too. And I'm pretty sure they chose highlight clips, of course. Also, when they made the app or whatever, or IG. And I mean, it was like night and day. You know what I mean? And then you would look yeah, at the was comments. Not the, the, the shit. Yeah, even the comments. The comments. Yeah. Bro, the comments is like, I had swerve two. Yeah, one. two to like, one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just about every comment said that. You know what I mean? Um, But but nevertheless, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The shit speaks for itself. You know what I mean? So like you said, everybody check that shit out. It's not, a, it's not a loss. Like a lot, And a lot of people don't understand this. Because a lot of people thought it was like, oh, I'm out the tournament. The tournament is literally to introduce the new class to URL. Mm. Niggas not really going nowhere. You just lost the tournament. Yeah. Like niggas a year ago, the same niggas that was in this tournament, them niggas on like the biggest cards now. You feel what I'm saying? So it's more so it's more so to be that platform for the next step. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like the introduction to you to to the fans type shit. Mm-hmm. So that's it's basically however the fans perceive you, how you gonna move on, win or lose. Right. So I lost, but in a sense, I won. Yeah. So it's like the fans, they 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 want to see me back. So yeah. And 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 they wasn't gassing shit neither, because I saw another clip with some uh one dude who was just fucking awful. And they was letting them have it. Like in the comments, they was a lot of them, a lot of them dudes, they wasn't from out there. So niggas are gonna be honest. They don't have a mm. lot of fans. Real mm-hmm. name Brandon has been on URL four years ago. Mm. Like he's been here, he's been a, a lot of people in the tournament, bro. I swear to God, they've been robbing for, for, for four, five, six, seven years. Not to knock right. them, but it's like they've been here before, you feel me? Right. So even if I so with me even competing on that level, and I've been for two years, I know for a fact I'm supposed to be here. Mm-hmm. So it's a win all the way around. These fucking flies are blowing my fucking life. <laughs> That's what's up though. All right, so let me ask you this. Um what differentiates preparing for a battle rap um, versus preparing for like a normal song? And I know you're not like a regular artist, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you can relate enough yeah. to you know answer this. So, what's the difference between preparing for the two? Preparing for a song easy as hell compared mm. to battle rap. Compared to battle rap, it, being a rapper and being a battle being a rapper is the especially in 2021. It's literally the easiest shit in the world. You find a good you got producer, a point. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I ain't shitting on nobody, but the battle rap is literally the last essence, the last pure essence of rap right now, mm. as far as a whole. You still got some rappers who still, you know what I'm saying, who still rap, but as the industry, the top niggas are not rappers. You know what I'm saying? So like, mm-hmm. like when they say Lil Baby is a lyricist, that shit pisses me off, son. Mm-mm. 
It pisses I'm, me off. I've, I've never heard that before. I seen it on Twitter. Mm. They say your lyricist. Try to call that man the Wayne of our time. Mm. Get the fuck out of here, man. Mm. Come on, man. Yeah, nah, they, yeah, that's clearly people and shit that like don't that, know what they're talking why, about. And that's why battle rap started like that. Because remember back then, you remember Wayne, you Wayne for a fact. Wayne no kiss. We're gonna use Jada because Jada just dropped 60 last night mm-hmm. in the car and he just dropped 60. Went stupid. He went stupid. Yeah. He just thought that was, I wasn't trying to hit that. I caught I caught secondhand embarrassment from Dipset off that. Oh yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, I'm with the locks, man. I mean, no, no, I'm saying I felt bad for Dipset. I rock with oh, yeah. both, but I'm just saying, like, as in general, like I was like, I felt embarrassed for Dipset off of Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it was it, took it, place. This really what it, but not to get off track, Jada. It's like, you know, remember the punchline Wayne used to use? Mm-hmm. Punchlines Jada used to use. That's literally, they didn't do it like for the whole, well, Wayne used to do that shit for a whole song, though. Yeah. He just have endless punchlines where it's like, man, that's crazy. Now mm-hmm. when you look back on them, they might be like, oh, that was kind of trash. <laughs> but it's a new time. It's a new time. Yeah, he kept it. Yeah, yeah. New time. But at the same time, now preparing for a song, I've been in the studio with niggas, bro. I done seen niggas put songs down, not writing shit in fucking 10 minutes, bro. Mm-hmm. And now songs are, are, are short as shit. Yeah. Bro, next time, go look on a nigga track list, bro. Go like it could be like, like look on like somebody like probably like 42 Doug or something. Look on their mm-hmm. track list. Mm-hmm. The whole album be 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. It'd be like 15 songs. Mm. Every song about two and a half. Like that ain't yeah. every song. And as a lot of motherfuckers don't got uh hooks now. You know, back then you used to the hook will run over three times. Mm-hmm. A nigga write three verses. Song will be five minutes. Right. So so yeah, it's 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 definitely, especially with now, you go in the booth, say anything, they gonna love it. So let me ask you this. So why is it um from past cases to even now, why is it that most battle rappers can't really make it in like the mainstream music market. And why is it so many mainstream music artists or rappers can't make it into the battle scene? Because like I said, it's, it ain't always been like that because you got to stay. Well, yeah, with the exception of a few like Eminem and Kiss and Wayne. Not, but but I'm saying, now, now I'm saying like, like, let's, let, let me see. Freeway, he was mm-hmm. a battler. Cassidy, he was a battler. Reed Dollars, it's still, you know Reed Dollars. <laughs> mm-hmm. Legend. Southwest representative. Yeah, yeah. That, that, he was a battler. Meek Mill was a battler at mm-hmm. one time. It right. was just where certain niggas was from. Philly was doing it. New York was doing it. a lot of new the, niggas. Ain't no Don Q was on Smack. Mm, I, I see you the battle after this. I see you the battle. Don Q has a Smack battle on YouTube. So it's like it's where battle rap because back then battle rap was only in New York and Philly for real. Mm-hmm. Niggas wasn't battle rapping everywhere. I mean, they had some other shit over where they had grind time here, but niggas wasn't the niggas you knew about the mo- murder mooks and all them niggas. The niggas was New York and Philly and, and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So now it's different because a nigga like a like a nigga like a nigga like little baby. Well, he wouldn't make it in this shit. He wouldn't mm-hmm. make it. Nah. He wouldn't make it in this shit because and, and he doesn't watch it. But a nigga like Drake. Drake can do it. Oh yeah, Drake will body some shit. Drake loves <laughs> Drake loves battle rap. A lot of niggas don't know Drake loves battle rap. He was at the last tournament, the Ultimate Madness three. Cause mm-hmm. I'm in four. The first one was the new nigga. Second one was the kind of, and the third one was the higher tiers. That was the higher tiers of battle rap type shit. Mm-hmm. He was there for the championship. Pulled mm-hmm. up with fifty thousand dollars to add to the already a hundred thousand dollar pack. Damn, he it's wanted like, to, he you know, wanted to see a good yeah. That's fight. what I'm saying. So it's 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 like. Certain nigga, I see certain niggas could do it because, like, you know, King Los is. Yeah. He battle raps. He just battle uh daylight. Um, you know, Mickey Fax is right. Nah, I don't know who that is. Mickey Fax, he, he a rapper. Um, he a rapper, but he battle rap too. But he was a a, a rapper, like a rapper rapper first. He ain't okay. started shit. So battle rappers can't make music now. Is because nobody wants to hear the, the pure essence of rap or how niggas rap. Battle rappers make great music. Yeah, it's Which bars. It gotta be bars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I but because I listen to I listen to I listen to I still listen to Jada and I still listen to Jade. I still listen to Jeezy. I still listen to all that shit. So I want to hear that shit. Mm-hmm. I want to hear nigga. I want to hear substance. It's just the industry ain't looking for that right now. So they not they not gonna push nobody who ain't you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that makes sense. 
push. It's all about a push. So, but right now, that's not what the youth want to hit because it's all about the youth right now. So, that makes complete sense. So, let me ask you this: right now, it seems like battle rap um, is a lot of bars and poetry in a way. So, I call it aggressive poetry. Aggressive poetry, right, right, right. Aggressive poetry with bars. So that compared to like, even though it was a movie like Eight Mile or even with like the 106 in Park where it was more so, you know. Yeah, but it's I, way different. Yeah, so it is very different. So which would you rather, you know, be a part of? Do you like how it is now or would you rather have tried your hand on how it was back then where it was more so flow-esque? Mm -hmm. Nah, uh, I would rather it now because back then it was like, First of all, back then it was like, if you didn't know anybody, you wasn't like, it's it's kind of like, you couldn't just be a new nigga on the scene, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It's like, back then it was like, shit, I got, I got a little nigga right now. He comes, and back then it wasn't tailored to a nigga. A nigga mm -hmm. show up with sick, just, just, a, just a hot 32. And, uh -huh. just, and for okay. anybody, it could be for anybody. Right, you know right, right. So back then, I wouldn't rather be back then because it was, it was, it was that, I, I mean, I love, I, that's the essence. I go back and watch, I like, but battle rap has turned into, you have to be, like, battle rappers are the most creative niggas in the world, bro, and people be, be, like, son, <laughs> people be, and, it, and it's more than just rapping, son, these are, like, I done met the most creative, the most, like, it, the smartest niggas in the world, son, like, these niggas are, it, it's, it ranges, it ranges, and then it's like, I fuck with battle rap, everybody's not trying to be tough either, you feel what I'm saying? You know the rap industry, everybody, oh, I'm gonna do the uh, pistol. Right. You know what I'm Everybody's not trying to be tough. I'm talking about outside the ring, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. So it's real life, just good vibes. Yeah. It's entertainment. It's right. entertainment, son. It's a it's a whole entertainment business. Niggas try to say it's like WWE, but it's not WWE because they don't fix it for the win. Mm. You still that's gotta w and WWE is hundred percent fake. Like you can't just yeah, show yeah, that's up what I'm battle saying. rap. Yeah. You actually have to have yeah. You got to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So I got two more questions for you. One of which is, <clears throat> all right, so not reaching, but you know, kind of stepping into a maybe unprobable lane to mm. those on the outside viewing. What's a battle that you would want and feel confident? that you would win against someone who may have, you know, um, some juice to their name right now. Mm. That I'm confident that I would win. Mm -hmm. Don't be modest neither. Cause you got bars nigga. don't be modest. It's tough. Let's speak it into existence now. You no, know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. You know who he is? Lou Castro, man. Lou Castro. All right. Astro, he he wanted to, he was in the same tournament I was in last year. Mm -hmm. Now he's like a year later, he's one of the mm -hmm. uh Luke Astro. Like I said, we speaking into the existence now. You know what I'm saying? So by next year, we there. And JC too. I'm gonna speak that into existence. Fuck it. JC. JC and Luke Castro. JC. JC a legend, though. JC a legend. All right. I mean, yeah, yeah listen, it, this ain't disrespect. This is yeah, this is confidence yeah. speaking, you know what I'm saying? And I posted, shout out JC too. I posted, he tweeted about me too. That was why I posted that. That's what's up. Hey, idols become rivals. You know what I mean? All right, now listen. So for those who don't know, Swervo got a, a battle coming up August 21st, right? Mm -hmm. August 21st, you know what I'm saying? Uh, is it going to be in the, um, uh, LA, LA as well? August 21st at LA, same setting, different situations. Let me ask you this. Come mm. August 21st, what should we expect from uh -oh. Swervo that was different from July 24th when you was on URL TV Live? Longer rounds. Mm. How long were the rounds? Uh, the rounds was because this because you didn't watch the battles, uh, so you didn't see like every, you probably didn't see everything that was going on. They said if my rounds was longer, I would have won. Mm. The time limit is two minutes, bro. Mm. How what's the, the what's the what's the typical time range? <clears throat> the no, the tournament is two minutes. Oh, but a two thirty cut up the they like they cut you off. You can't keep rapping where mm -hmm. you're not supposed to. Right, man, this nigga rapped for damn near three minutes in the first. Damn, my man got the time stamps. Mm -hmm. He rapped for three thirty six in the second, and then rap for two fifty in the third, bro. What was your times? 
first round, 201. Mm. Second round was 158. Third round was 229. I didn't go over 230. They give us a 30-second grace period. Right. <clears throat> uh, so longer rounds. I mean, look, listen, you know what I'm saying? We we going, yeah. So longer rounds, what else? Now I'm about to lose my mind, son. Some shit a lot of niggas ain't seen. Because even that first shit, a lot of niggas who've been following me, they ain't seen that. They haven't even seen that. So, nah, this is about to be some special shit, man. It's mm-hmm. about to be some special shit, man. Pulling up with that shit. This is about oh. to be some special shit, man. It, it got to be, because I'm trying to, I, I need a, just to get them, just to get them names that you just said. Uh-huh. I gotta have a crazy performance. Yeah, I gotta go crazy. So I'm, I'm trying to get that and get my bag bigger. Well, listen, I don't doubt for one half a second that you won't do that, my guy. So, you know what I mean? We, we hype for it. I'm hype for it. Especially I know you are. I know everybody tuned in. That's you know what I'm saying. Following you or maybe following you after this, they hype for it as well. You know Live on Cafe, man, August twenty first. Where, where will they be able to see it at? Cafe TV. Download the app, Cafe. All you got to do is just create a profile, verify your email so you could talk in the comments or do what you do. Mm-hmm. You can watch it live. It's free, man. There you go. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know I'm going to be posting it before it pops off. I'm going to be marketing it. Swervo going to be marketing it. You know what I'm saying? His IG is in the description, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening to your respective podcast platform. But while you're here, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you hit subscribe so you can be kept up to date on all the latest episodes, man. Listen, Swervo. My real app, man. Uh Uh-huh. Listen, man, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, taking your time out the day, pulling up in a way, not in person. But, hey, I'm I'm actually feeling this. We ready to keep this Zoom zone. Nah, nah, nah. This Zoom shit fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This Zoom shit fire. mm -hmm. So good looks for pulling up, my guy. Like, for real. Sure, man. It's uh-huh. weird as shit you calling me Swervo too, man. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't know. This was my nigga. Same secondary, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We played on that secondary and me together with the playoffs. Hey. You, hey, we made that, history, man. Uh-huh. And that Arundel week was extra extra spe- uh, extra fun. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, that Arundel week was... I cried. I cried. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, like, remember what happened before the game? That phone call. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, we got uh, uh, hey, yeah, yeah. Shout out to him though. Yeah, shout yeah, out to yeah. him though, man. Shout out to him. <laughs> hey, some people gonna know what we talking about, but if you don't, it's cool. Just if do you your know, Google. Man, if you know, you know. If you don't, you ain't supposed to, man. Uh huh. But listen, out. man. Uh, everyone that's tuned in, I really appreciate y'all. Swervo again. Thanks for pulling up, man. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Day by Day Podcast. Make sure that you tune in August 21st on Caffeine TV Live, Caffeine TV app, I should say. It will be shot live. And yeah, watch Swervo do what he do. Until next time, y'all, this is Day by Day TV reporting out. Peace. I'll let y'all, man. All right.